YouTube channel. If you've not watched my videos before, my name's Frankie. And if you have watched my videos before, I'm really sorry. I've not done a video in a long, long time. And I will explain a little bit in a minute. Um, but yeah, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to do a bit of an update, tell you guys what's been going on. Um, and show you guys Eliza's development because she's nine months old in a couple of days. Like, where's that time gone? So, um, but yeah, if you do follow my channel, you will know that I am currently on maternity leave. I've got a little girl. And um, I have been saying recently on my channel, oh, I'm going to make sure I pick it back up and I'm filming more regularly. And then I never do. And to be honest, guys, I have been filming quite a bit of content. And then I watch it back and I'm like, do people really want to be seeing this? Because I'm getting bored watching it. And it was such things as an Ikea haul. And it's like, here's a storage bag for Eliza's clothes. And here's a storage tin to put our washing tablets in. And stuff like that. And I thought, I don't know. I just, I just wasn't feeling it, guys. So, if you can see, the weather's looking really lovely at the moment. Um, we are actually staying indoors today. I've got washing to do housework to do um i am aware that the weekend is fast approaching so i like to get all these jobs out of the way so when jake's home we can get on with either jobs that we need to start doing or um actually having some quality time with eliza so um i thought that well i'll get on top of the washing today she can have a bit of play time she's currently napping having a mid-morning nap um, and I thought I'd have a chat with you guys, let you guys know what has been going on through the last few weeks. So we have been really just generally um, making the most of the good weather, living in and out of parks, um, walking. I'm trying to start to lose a bit more weight. And um, I've also been having hospital appointments, which I will update you guys on in a minute. So the big major thing that's happened the last couple of weeks was I did actually go back into work for a day. Um, it was keeping in touch day and I've also got another one coming up in a couple of weeks time. And um, yeah, it, it went much better than I thought it would. Um, if you guys don't follow me, I'm, um, I work in London, I work for insurance brokers. So I work up in the city sort of towards Tower Hill way and um, I commute via train. Um, so my commute, because we, they've moved offices since I've um, been on maternity leave, was a fair bit shorter, which is great for me to know that it might mean I might catch the earlier train, um, which just gets me back in time to get Eliza, which is great. Um, and the day didn't go so bad. I met up with my manager, who actually is a new manager now, because our office has had a bit of a rejig since I've been gone. Um, and we had to catch up, and she asked me, how are you feeling? And and I thought, you know what? It's not as bad as I thought. The previous night, I'd barely slept. Um, I thought, I can't do this. And I was almost panicking, having panic attacks in bed. The anxiety was really bad to the point my mouth is full of like ulcers and um, I've got a swollen tongue and a scalloped tongue, if I show you. And I, that's due to clenching and biting down in my sleep. Um, so I'm definitely been ha suffering with bad anxiety lately. Um, but do you know what? It wasn't half as bad as I thought at all. So um, I went in, I had a few meetings um, just to catch up with how things are going with work. Um, a few people had a few questions to ask me, um, just work related stuff. And do you know, what? I actually got back into the rut of it. By the afternoon, I was actually doing a little bit of work and I thought, do you know what? This isn't bad. This feels like Frankie on any other normal day. And obviously Eliza does flutter in your mind throughout the day but I felt fine she was with Jake they had a really lovely day they went to a farm and um, they went to a park they really made the most of the day and he texted me at lunchtime and sent me a picture of her having fun um 
he did send a video which I found a little bit harder. But you've got to remember, guys, this was my first full day away from Eliza since she was born. Um, and yeah, it went really well. So I got back after her bedtime. Um, I did stay up in town a little bit longer. Um, and yeah, once by the time I got her back home, um, she was asleep. But clearly had had a great day because she was like this, exhausted in her cot. And um, yeah, so... I've been asked to come and do another keeping in touch day this month and do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. Um, so I am due back at work in September. So that means I will take my full amount of allocated time. Um, so it will be the full year. Um, work have kindly, and I'm really grateful for this, agreed that I can go back for four days a week. Um, so I will get an extra day with Eliza. Obviously, I'm not going to tell you guys what day it is um, for security reasons and stuff like that. But I will be getting an extra day with her um, once a week, um, which, yeah, I, I can't wait for. Um, they've also allowed me to leave a little bit earlier to pick Eliza up from nursery every night. Um, so, yeah, because my commute's an hour and a half, it would be... Um, nursery would be shut by the time I got home so they've been really accommodating been really great um they've been starting to keep me in touch with things at work which is great for my personality um if you know and um, have watched my videos I'm a very anxious person um I really do suffer quite badly with anxiety and I do feel that their approach to me my new manager has been great um it's it's been fantastic because I'm fully prepared for what I'm going back to and I actually think, do you know what? I'm super excited for Eliza going to her nursery now. Um, we took her for a day, oh gosh, about three or four months ago. And she loved it. She went in for the afternoon. Jake and I took her there. And she just seemed to interact with the children great. She seemed to be comfortable in the environment. So I'm really looking forward to being able to push that forward. Um, start taking her for, I think she can have a system in period for a couple of weeks. Um, and I'm excited for her to be able to sort of come out of her shell as a person because she's still very much my little baby, which of course she's nine months old. Um, but she's very inquisitive. She's very nosy. She's very, she loves interacting with people. So I really do think her nursery is going to give her more than I can actually give her because um, she's going to be able to interact with children and like for like. So... Oh, somebody's house alarm's going off. Um, there's a lot of builders around here at the moment, so it's probably something to do with that. So, yeah, really happy with the situation. We've got three more months now to really enjoy ourselves and um, just make the most of the time together. Um, hopefully, if the weather continues like this, we're going to get some real fun days out. Um, and, yeah, and then it'll be starting to plan for her first birthday. I can't believe it. I've already got a few ideas about what I want to do. We're not going to do her party this year because she just won't understand. Um, her friends are actually my friend's children. Um, and, you know, she doesn't see them on a day-to-day -day basis because, obviously, some of the mums have gone back to work. Um, so we do catch up sort of once a month or so. Um, so, yeah, we think we'll probably do something as in me, Jake and Eliza, and then we'll catch up with some family, like my family um, live over here, uh, Jake's family live abroad, so we'll probably do something quite low-key with my family, um, maybe do like a little tea party at home, so yeah, that will be the plan, um, I have gone back to the doctors about my PCOS, and um, they have... Um, been putting me on metformin so i've been on metformin for six weeks now if you do follow me on my instagram um which i will link in the description box below um you will know that i have started losing weight let's big thumbs up um i've started changing my attitude towards food i've started drinking a hell of a lot of more water which i'll tell you where i got this bottle from in a minute and yeah so the metformins are working but there's other still side effects of PCOS that I'm not happy with. I do feel like my body hair is still growing quite rapidly. Um, my hairline, I have to tie my hair up this way with a parting now. If I pull it back, there is definitely a male 
hairline happening um and i do just feel like although i'm losing weight i've very much got my gut fat there and it needs to go um so i did inquire there is a tablet for body hair and facial hair stuff um that i can't remember the name of i will look it up and put it in the description box again and i did request to go on it and disappointingly got told no apparently it will kill my libido um so the consultant didn't want to put me on it and he actually discharged me because i have gone back to my ivf weight pre-pregnancy weight um so i'm not really happy with that because a like my mum said my body's changed so actually i feel fatter and sluggish than i did when i was doing ivf um and the body hair and you know my facial hair although it's blonde it's still there um i'm not happy with so um i'm gonna go back to my gp and say look you know i really do feel my hormones have gone like that nobody's actually done a blood test on me since i've had eliza so i'd be interested to see what my actual hormone levels are at now because i do feel there is um some sort of dip somewhere and i feel like the male hormones are going like that um so yeah I will go back to the GP and I will keep you guys updated. Um, I'm also going to be starting Venequa on my face. Um, I did use that three or four years ago. It didn't really do much to me, if anything, cool spots. But um, the consultant did say as he discharged me to try it with the metformins and I might see a difference. And like Jake said, we've got to give it a crack and try. Um, and yeah, if not, I will take the gamble to see if these tablets work. Because who's to say that it kills the libido for every person that takes them? So um, I've actually spoke to a friend recently who took them for about three years. Um, she's just recently had a child, so she hasn't been taking them for that reason. But she said she didn't find that um, they'd done that to her. So keep you guys updated with that um yes water bottle i have been looking for a water bottle with the times i'm terrible with the time of day of drinking water and these are like normally 10 to 12 pounds on amazon and i'm like i can't justify that money i'm on zero pay now because i'm on my last three months of maternity i can't go and buy 12 pound for a bottle that i might not even stick to so I found this in Tesco's the other day for £3.50. Now they do have this in different colours. So if you're watching it maybe for your boyfriend, your husband, or you may be just not a girly girl who wants pink, then um, I think they did it in blue, turquoise, orange, green, purple, pink. So um, £3.50, I thought it was really good. And you just fill the bottle up twice a day. Um, you start off your water intake in the morning at 8am. Now, granted, I do drink a glass of water in the morning just to hydrate me. And it goes down to 11. As you can see, I've just got that last bit to glug. And then starts again at 1pm and goes all the way down to 4pm. And obviously, you will have a cup of tea during the day, maybe. Um, some people do have fizzy drinks. I'm trying to avoid that at the moment. Um, I can't go without my coffee first thing in the morning. So... But I feel, I've only been doing this for a few days, but I'm already feeling the benefit of it. I felt much more alert and awake this morning. But, if you guys know, from my caesarean, um, I had a third of my bladder cut away because I had scar tissue on my bladder previously before ever having Eliza um, due to a burst appendix when I was 15. When they cut to get Eliza out of me, um, they cut into my bladder um, due to the scar tissue. So I lost a third of my bladder in the caesarean, which is all fine. I've not actually had any complications, no leakage, nothing like that. But I'm a girl who's always wanted to need a wee frequently anyway. But now drinking this, it's like back to the pregnancy days of, oh, hi Tyler, I'll be back in 20 minutes. So, but... It, you know you need to get this water into you so i'm going to persevere and hopefully it might if anything train my bladder a little bit to hold a bit more um and not needing me to go so much who knows who knows but a bit tmi there but it is a mummy channel so 
Um, and yeah, I think all in all, oh, we're doing bits around the house. Um, I will show you guys what the plan is. Actually, I'll take you out and show you the balcony in a minute of what we're doing and what the plans are. Um, and then I'll show you Eliza in a bit when she wakes up. I'm quite surprised she's not awake yet. Um, but yeah, let's get... Right, guys, let's go outside. Um, I think I can hear Eliza murmuring, so I won't um, take too long. I actually just filmed this a minute ago, and I thought, no, I don't like it. It's what I'm saying. I'm not feeding it with my content at the moment, guys. So here is our balcony. Now I'm going to try and just show you guys around. Um, as you can see, it looks really sad. It just looks so run down. So basically, we've lived here five years, and about five years ago, um, you know, this this would have been um, buzzing. It was buzzing when we bought here. We had it. We had the shabby chic walls. They weren't half as bad as they are now. Um, we had fairy lights twinkling. We had the barbecue in the corner. We had people here eating dinner. That would be Jake's serving table to put all his meat. And it just, it was quite buzzy, this balcony. And last summer we didn't get to do much. Um, here we go, I'll show you me. Yeah, we didn't get to do much. And I think that, do you know what? It's just neglected here. And we want to make the most of this, make this into like a mini garden for Eliza. And I said to Jake, you know, we, we had a few jobs to do on the balcony anyway, so let's just do it. So structurally, there was um, a leak happening below the balcony. Jake has now resolved that. And we've got a guy coming round who's one of our friends and our neighbour. He's going to do a bit of ceiling and then that's done. Um, so the underneath of the balcony is going to be stripped and put new boarding down. And... Um, up here we are going to astroturf all of the floor and we're going to paint all the walls now i'm going to strip as much of this off the walls um but you know there's bits here that you can sort of pick off um you know so i'm going to be using tools and stuff um, to do that but i'm not going to get rid of bits that are just solid there um, because I, I would be here for a lifetime and I'm a mum now, I don't have that time. So, um, yeah, we're going to tidy it up. That's all going to be painted black again. Um, this little lady will be staying put because she's someone's very special to Jake. Um, she actually um, was in Jake's nan's living room on a wall with a fake plant pot. And Jake went to throw her out when his nan sadly passed away and they were doing a clearance on her flat. And my mum salvaged it for Jake and um, said to him, I'm going to do something with that. And then when we bought here, mum painted, had painted it up a creamy colour because yeah, it was like a real brassy gold. Um, and she showed him, you know, you need to put a screw on the wall and put her up. And Jake lights candles now and, um, you know, whenever he's thinking of his nanny here, put a little candle in the evening up on there or her birthday such thing so she's someone really special that we'll be keeping up now we don't know what we're going to do with this we bought this from ikea and we had herbs growing in here and um they never survived because of the way the sunlight was so i actually said to jake because as you can see it's not stood up well with the weather this is buying a new place and obviously not knowing that stuff isn't galvanized you don't know this stuff so i'm actually going to spray this with some silver paint um, and I'm going to keep this because I think I quite like this up on the wall. Um, and we're going to put fake, you know, the IKEA spiky green plants are about a pound. So I'm just going to buy six of them to put on there because I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, I was talking about putting a mirror on this wall. Um, you know, one of those archway ones to look like it's a courtyard. Um, but Jake said the sun could reflect into our back window and cause a fire with our curtains so he's opposed to that so we're just going to stick with that on the wall um, and then I'm going to look to get as you can see up here we used to have like fairy lights and stuff so I'm going to keep these in the wall for the time being because I might get a sheet of fairy lights to drape down the wall so it's a bit magical for Eliza so the table was the worst buy ever 
we bought this with our wedding money and it angers me because last year granted it was our fault but we didn't cover the table for the first time and it weathered terribly and I, you know this was like four or five hundred no it weren't four or five hundred three or four hundred pounds um and it just angers me that we spent all that money and i never knew about b m at all um when people talk about b m i've only come across it in the last couple of years the same as the range um because where we live there isn't many stores around and i wish i'd gone to one of those and bought garden furniture which is where we're looking to replace this rather than just going into home base or B&Q. So if you are looking for garden furniture, definitely shop around. Uh, B&M have got sort of a great range at the moment. We've actually got our eyes on a little bistro set, um, they, but they've got a fantastic little rattan um, couch, little low table and two chairs, 150 pounds, it's a bargain, absolute bargain. So, um, but yeah, we're gonna be putting our bistro set here. This table we got from Jake's aunt, um, she gave us it when she left her flat that had a balcony um, and as I said we used to use it to put food on for you know burger buns for the barbecue and stuff like that or you know the smokers would come you can see we've definitely not been out in a year it's all dirty um, you know the smokers were smoking that corner away from the back door um, so we are actually just going to get rid of all of that, it doesn't need to be there, the bistro set is going to go in that corner, which then frees the whole balcony up for Eliza, which gives her good space, so that's the, please ignore that, that's her nappies, we just chuck them out here in those black bags or that bin, um, and then just take it down to the big bin, um, so... As you can see, it's just looking very sad at the moment. There's still one more tip run to do. I'm going to salvage these pot plants. Um, oh, Mr. Gnome, he's going to have to go as well, but it was only a pound shop job. Um, but I'm going to salvage the pot plants and perhaps paint them because we're going for a grey and white thing um, out here. And then um, we're going to have the pops of colour with the plants that we have. So it's going to be a mixture of real and fake. And here we are going to just be putting a couple of, you know, like the um, window boxes. Um, I bought some from Ikea. I don't know if you guys know, but in um, Ikea, the range where everyone use, I do as well, for your makeup brushes. They're like a plant pot like this, but in white. Um, I've bought the big window boxes to match the white with the cladding on our house. Um, so I'm going to have those there. Um, I will show you them actually later if I get a chance. Um, but they were on a deal on the IKEA family. So I picked them up that day. Um, and yes, yeah, sadly, the barbecue will also be going to the dump because it's well weathered and um, the chances of us actually getting out here and having proper barbecues with people um as you can see that's how old it is god blimey that old packet of cigarettes sitting there as well <laughs> um that's obviously some drunk friend rather than putting it in the bin um yeah it just um you know it's pointless it's a little cheapy one that i think we paid like 20 pounds for in Tesco's but as you can see it's completely rusted it's seen better days the whole place up here has seen better days so I am really excited because Jake is actually going to go and collect the AstroTurf today I'm tonight going to be ordering the underlay um, and that I think is going to make a dramatic difference once it's done but obviously we're going to do the painting this weekend so I'm going to get painting to we want to get the painting done because if we splash it on the decking there's no big deal um, and then we're just going to literally lay um, a shock absorber underlay on top of the decking um, and then we're going to glue the astroturf to it and that is it is going to be as simple as that guys so i've already priced up the astroturf um, in tesco's um, which is the one i preferred rather than b m because it's slightly brighter green um, it's £30 for one by four metres squared and I've measured here and we need about three and a half of those so it's not going to cost a huge amount of money you know we are talking about £120 on the AstroTurf um, the underlays a £30 job the glue is going to be about 10 quid so 
you know, we're going to be able to lawn it out here for about £150. Um, and then everything else, you know, all in all about £200 to £250 is going to transform all of this out here. So it's affordable while I'm on maternity. And it's going to give her another extension of a play area because our current, li you know, living situation is we are in quite a small property. Um, she seems to be crowded in the living room now so while the weather's like this I want to be able to let her come out here and she does come out here I push the table to the side you know I bring her toys out it's just not the same so really excited to get on with um, doing stuff like this so anyway on that note I am going to get her up because she's probably going to be due her lunch anytime soon um, and I'll speak to you in a bit hey everyone right so I am back in my spare room can you see it's just it's embarrassing I can't show you guys this room properly basically this is um, a garage that has been converted into a room but it's being very much treated like a garage at the moment as, I, as you know some of you guys might recognize this actually from um, if you've been watching my vlogs for a long time this was in my living room and we're actually gonna keep it for Eliza I love the colour um, and like they do white and all that now but I think blue pop of blue is quite um, colourful and even if we keep it down here if we don't go in her bedroom when she's a bit older she'll be able to store her stuff in it so Jake said to keep that <laughs> it's stacked on our old shirt, on our old drawers that we had in our bedroom it's so much to clear out but anyway I brought you here to show you the little bits and pieces that I got for the garden or the bathroom. So I've bought two hanging baskets. Do you remember these brands? So I've got those. Oh, actually, the planters, I only bought two. I thought I bought three, so that was good. So these are the make is called Scura. And can you see the vibe I'm sort of going for? So, I've got two of those. Um, anyway, let's go out there. I'm not showing you what's all over there. There's a, to be fair, woo! <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff that we've been selling lately, so that's why it comes down here. Stuff that Eliza's grown out of. But yeah, so those are the bits and pieces um, that we um, have bought to do the balcony. So, Eliza has just had her lunch. She's down for her nap, but I want to edit this for video because I'm quite happy with it and get it on tonight. So I'm going to be really silent and show you guys her asleep in her cot. Look at this. This I've got sauce as well. Stuff on the table before we show Eliza. Another thing for the garden, B&M. It's a citronella candle. How cool is that? Anyway, I'm going to be silent so I don't wake up. Show you guys what she is like. She's so cute when she's asleep. Um, but she has got a little bit of dinner down there, but I wasn't going to change her just to go to sleep. So I'll be quiet now. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see her asleep. Biased mummy, don't she look cute? <laughs> so, um, anyway, glad I've done this vlog today and um, I'm gonna leave it there. I will be updating you guys. I'm trying to think what we'll be doing this weekend. I'm gonna take Eliza swimming at some point, um, but we probably will start working out there. And I might actually vlog to show you guys what we get up to. Um, Eliza will be up and about during the day. Um, and yeah, hopefully that'll be a bit more fun for you than, like I said, doing the uh, 
hauls. It just, I just weren't feeling it. I hadn't bought anything in particular that was like, oh, that's really good. I'll go into B and M or I'll go into IKEA. So, um, apologies for keeping you waiting for ages for a video. But please, if you do like this, please do give it a big thumbs up. Um, please do leave any comments in, in the box below because I would love reading all your comments. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Um, and I'll hopefully start liking some of the content I load. Um, but anyway, on that note, I'll speak to you soon. Bye.